Hey guys, welcome back to this video. In this video, I am going to install this AFC repair wheel into my Zeta. So, what are the process involved and what parts do you need to buy? I will be sharing in this video, so make sure to watch this video till the end. And let's get started. Here you can see there are uh, two 8mm bolts. So, I am using an 8mm spanner. And this two bolts on this two sides, there are both medium and bolts both the sides. Now we need to remove this axle nut. So I'm using 21 mm spanner in this side, and you will need a spanner of 17 mm in the other side. Now we need to remove the crumb holder rod here. So use the standard of exact size to remove this one. So here Excel comes out and now this is the right side spacer. And this is the left sided one. and remove that stock wheel. To remove this wheel I need same two range that is 121 mm spanner and 117 mm spanner. Now you need to loosen this nut which holds the drum brake. Now we can remove the axle. So here is the axle and this the two spaces. This one is the left sided and this one is the right sided. Comes out. We need to remove the drum brake and the chain as well. Now the wheel is ready to come up. So here we have the visitor stop wheel. Now we'll try to install AFC in this. So there is no photographer for my videos so I do it all by myself. So videos may not look so cool. Now I will uh, just hand weigh it and let you know which uh, feels more heavier. So definitely if the wheel is very much heavier. So you can see them side by side. 110, 110 by 80 and this is 130 by 70 wheel expansion from chain to ground so it is 
is 5.5 inches. Let us check for the FZ. Man, this one is very heavy. So this one is 6.6 .6 inches, so flat 1 inch wider. So whenever you are uh, installing this wheel, you need to buy the inside collars like that. So I cannot remove this one now, but under this there is a spacer between the two bearings, the chain sided bearing and the uh, wheel inside bearing there is a spacer. So you need to buy that spacer for FG. So now it's time to install this wheel. So we'll install SZ stock left side spacer into the wheel, not FZ one. It is SZ stock left side spacer. So install this one. Now I'll slide on the chain. Chain is on and the spacer is also on. Now we'll install the drum bit. So with the spacer on, it is really tough to install the drum bit. So now I will remove the spacer, install the drum brick, and then I will fit back the spacer. So you can see the drum rack is on. Now we'll install the left side spacer. So the wheel is fitted. So I've installed FZ left side spacer into the right side. So it fitted quite well. So guys, the job has successfully done. There is uh, enough space between the swing arm and uh, tire. But the problem is that. When you are using a new sprocket, the wheel will be further forward and then the gap between the swing arm and the wheel will be very less and maybe touching each other so you may need to modify the stock swing arm. But in this case, as my chain is about 15,000 km run on already, so there is enough clearance. So, coming to the spacer part, I want to repeat. Uh, I used SR stock left side spacer in the left side and FZ left side spacer in the right side. So there is no need to cut any spacers or modify like that, but there may be uh, a need to modify the stock swing arm and uh, increase the clearance between the tire and the wheel for newer chains products. So now let's so there is a problem with this wheel in particular. Uh, there is a liquid, a leak sealant liquid used in this wheel previously. So the wheel is heavily imbalanced now. You can see if I will leave it here, it will come below. You know. See?
I want to end this video here and share a riding experience with another video uh, where I will try to ride it on road and share my personal experience if there is any lag in acceleration or there is any drop in top speed like that. So stay tuned for that video. It was just an installation guide and what you need and what you need not to do. So I hope this video was informative for some of you if you are interested in this kind of modification. So that's all about it. If you like it, do give me a thumbs up and you can subscribe always, it's free. So take care and I will see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.